what we have here. Just enough to hold air in, but it's leaking out. Anyway, so I got these guys, so I'm gonna try this out real quick. Let me shut this rig off. Realized we were out of ice. I just wanted to make a drink, and my tire was flat. So I started airing it back up, and then I realized well, the, the hose on the onboard air had busted, so I had to fix that, and then I got that working again, and then I come down here, and I'm airing this up, and it's taking forever, and I keep, like, every time I move the nozzle around, I keep hearing like that, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And there it is, right there. So now I get to use these. Extra short, like me. So I'm gonna try this out and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so in principle, what's gonna happen is like those inserts for wall, sheetrock hanging wall hooks. This thing's gonna compress in on itself and seal against the wheel. Uh, I believe it's an 11, it may be standard, I don't care. So anyway, I'm gonna rip this out, shove this in and then ratchet it down with the 11 and uh, see what happens. And you will need a deep socket, obviously. But pretty much just snugs right up against it. That's in there, and that's way tougher than a uh, regular valve stem, which is all rubber. These guys are a brass insert. But at 20 something dollars a pair, that will be getting pulled out and replaced with another new one of these. But you can see it's. So I'm gonna try and air this up. See if it holds some air. And no bubbles. So there you go. These guys work. Get them on eBay, I don't know, Amazon, whatever your Chinese -ium trade site of choice. But um, yeah, definitely worth having. The red ones Rusty got, you don't even need a tool. They just have a red like twist handle, which I think is pretty neat, but I got these just to try the uh, the different version. So there you go. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, keep on modding.